Welcome back to uh, building the Alpha Beachcomber sailing dory. We're going to take a look up in the uh, loft today, see if we can find some of the patterns from the last Alpha that I built, and uh, see if we can get them uh, refurbished and ready to use for the new alpha dory build okay so we're in the shop and um, what I want to do is get up into the loft there and see what we can find for uh, patterns from the old alpha that I made and um, yeah so I've got a uh, bit of a loft built into this shop. It was originally a carriage house, I believe, so it's got an attic anyway. And uh, most of what I've got up there is uh, spars and sails. So, yeah, you can see. Got a lot of sails on this end. A uh, umbrella too, or uh, some umbrella. But uh, the patterns are down the back end of the shop, and they'll be up in there. But I'm gonna have to climb up in there and. Uh, Look around a little bit. There's uh, gonna be some um, a bunch of stuff from uh, from Centennial too. Gonna have to pick through the patterns and find the Alpha Dory ones. So, yeah. It says here, this is how we get up in the shop. Get up in the attic. Should probably put on regular shoes to this, but we'll see how it goes. We got a couple inches of snow last night, so. See if I can find some wood I need while I'm up here. Alright, so here we are up in the uh, loft. And, um, yeah, it looks like things could use a straighten up up here, but a fair amount of uh, storage space. I got a uh, Toboggan up here, too. I forgot about that. That's a good one, though. And uh, some, some glazing from uh, the old storm windows that we took off the house. This is the uh, mast for... Um, this is the mast for... Uh, Sandbagger, little 12 foot skiff, cat rigged uh, sailing skiff. Uh, I could have plugged in the uh, light, but honestly, it wouldn't do a whole lot for down this end. The best, uh, the best light is going to be coming right through that window. So, uh, let's see what we can find. Yeah, I got a bunch of patterns up here. Um, well, here's an Alpha Dory pattern right here. This is the uh, pattern for the yoke, for the uh, steering 
on top of the rudder head. So there's that. Uh, looks like we got a couple uh, knees. Yeah, gosh, not sure. I almost think this was from Centennial. Yeah, it was. This is one of the uh, one of the hanging knees from uh, Ford Centennial. Ooh, let's see. What is this? Oh, Centennial. This is the uh, transom knee that holds the uh, tombstone transom to the bottom. Oh, here's the alpha knee though. Yeah, you can see the difference between the two of those. Centennial's got a more, uh, a more upright transom and the uh, the alpha door, as you can see how long and sort of lightly built it is compared to the uh, bank store, which is a heavier knee. And it's also a more upright transom, you know, you can see the difference there. The uh, Centennial and the Alpha Dory have the same length, same length on the bottom, but uh, the Alpha is a foot longer because, in large part, because it's stretched out like this. And it's actually got a lower um, lower shear, so it would be shorter than Centennial if it was, if the stem and stern were at the same angles, but it's, uh, you know, it's really laid out there, and uh, so even with a lower shear, you still get an extra foot of length on the boat. Yeah, so I'll definitely, uh, definitely bring this one down. But that's not really what I'm looking for at this point. Those are that transom knee will get used pretty soon. But uh, the uh, let's see, get this thing out of the way. Uh, this is a um, sailing sailing model of an old uh, sort of Champlain or uh, or even uh, I was actually thinking about going off the designs of the uh, gunboats that sailed across the Atlantic with uh, with um, with uh, Constitution to uh, fight the Barbary pirates there was supposedly uh, eight or ten 50-foot gunboats that crossed the Atlantic. Talk about a dangerous voyage. I think they may have lost one of them. But, um, yeah, interesting boats anyway. Carried a 32-pounder up in the nose, which was a huge gun for a, that size boat. This is this is the bottom pattern for the um, it's the bottom pattern for the uh, duck punt West Marsa duck punt that we built built that plank on frame with the with the pine on oak. Uh, okay, here's an alpha dory pattern. This is an alpha dory frame. I'm not sure which one it is. It looks like it may be either a bow or stern frame. So either frame number one or number four. So definitely this is coming downstairs. Yep, here's another one. All right, yeah, we're into the alpha dory stuff. This looks like it's probably frame two and three. Yeah, it says alpha on it. Don't know if you can read that. But... And I 
think this is going to be the alpha stem. Yeah, the um, Centennial kind of an interesting story with her uh, her stem and her frame patterns. You know, that was, Centennial was the most recent uh, boat that I built. So, like, you may be wondering, well, where's all the Centennial frames? Her uh, Centennial stem pattern is actually still downstairs. I never put it up here. It's still hanging up downstairs. And uh, Centennial stem pattern <clears throat> is also the pattern that uh, that you use to cut her frames. So she's got the exact same curvature to her uh, her frames as she does to the stem. So that's kind of cool. And here's the uh, transom for the Alpha Dory, I'm pretty sure. It's not Centennial's transom, no. Yeah. So this is the Alpha Dory stern, but it's actually a few inches short. Three foot, five and a half inches to top of transom. And this is uh, definitely less than three and a half feet for sure. So I uh, didn't have enough uh, material to make the full length pattern. I don't even know why I made it full width. Like I should have just made half a pattern, but whatever. I guess I had the material at the time. Um, yeah, it's just this uh, masonite stuff. But uh, I didn't have enough length, so you just got to extend the uh, lines of the transom as they're running. Extend it so that you've got a three and a half feet to the top of the transom. And then it doesn't hurt to give yourself a few extra inches to uh, fasten the transom to the, uh, to the wall of the shop with. So you're not putting screw holes or anything. You know, maybe we'll clamp it, but anyway, it gives, you know, it's nice to have a little bit extra too. So, I'll take this down. I'm going to try and uh, put everything right over here by the... right beside the... Ugh, yeah. yeah, right, let's see if I can put everything right beside the stairway. It's not even stairs, it's just, uh, you know, basically a a ladder there. So see if I can put everything right beside the ladder. And um, and then I'll be able to reach it from when I'm downstairs. pattern for Centennial's tiller. Like I said, uh, the Alpha Dora doesn't get a tiller, so. What is that over there? Ah. Yeah. Oh, it's the uh, ca duck camber pattern for Centennial. Alright. Okay, yeah, so. Here's the uh, shop, like I was saying. Oh yeah, I got my um, ice boat mast right here. Yeah, I haven't had that out this uh, this season. As soon as it got cold, it started snowing, so it kind of ruined the ice. But she's ready to go. Got the. Uh, the boom, ice boat boom, with the sail on it right there. And, uh, yeah, waiting for the phone to adjust to the light. Anyway, there's the, yeah, the boom with the sail on it. It's right there, ready to go. But, like I say, it's just, uh, not, um, 
not good ice at the moment. And then that uh, light down the end is a uh, cut out little uh, hatch door that I can get uh, spars and whatnot out through the front of the building. All right, well, I'm gonna I think I'll put the phone on, pause the video while I climb down these, uh, climb down the stairs and drag the stuff out of the, out of the attic. So, uh, doors are pretty, uh, patterns are pretty traditional for a dory building. They uh, definitely make it a little bit quicker to cut stuff out, but they're actually, uh, the patterns were basically the plans for dories. So you didn't have a set of lines or a set of offsets for a dory you know, in the 18 and 1900s until uh, you know say John Gardner and other folks Howard Chappelle and whatnot started um, taking the lines of boats work boats and dories up until then all you had to know how to know what the shape of a boat was supposed to be was the patterns. So this was, you know, the way that the information was um, retained to build the same boat again. And that's kind of important because if you build a different boat, then you're never sure how the planks are going to lay on it. And, uh, you know, you, you, it's nice to be able to rebuild the same boat quickly if someone wants that boat you know you can uh, whip out the patterns and uh, just start cutting pieces right away you don't have to redesign the boat every time you build it so and it's pretty uh, typical for patterns to be tweaked and revised over time so what we're up to is pretty standard. Oh yeah, I got the uh, rest of the uh, bottom pattern up there too. So this here is the uh, pattern for the bottom planks. This is half of the bottom aft. You can tell it's the uh, transom because it's such a such a uh, sort of long, fine run. The uh, bow is a fuller. The forward, the bottom forward is fuller than the bow. Than the bottom aft. Right. So here's the uh, here's the bottom forward pattern for the alpha. Yeah. All right, so I got this as well, right? All the parts and pieces. Now I just got to uh, lay it out on the oak that we dug out of the snow and See what we got. Thanks for watching Building the Alpha Dory.